Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys that are new, welcome. My name is Pinky and teaching you witchcraft and tarot is what I do. Here we are doing the monthly readings. We are kicking off the month of May 2024. I know we are a bit behind. I want to apologize. We took some time uh, for some family um, time. I'm sure if you guys have been following me, you know what's been going on. So let's not get into that. <laughs> Let's begin here with Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is going to be your monthly reading for the month of May 2024. Let's begin. Let me clear energy. I call upon all my wise and loving spirit guides, my ascendant master, spirits of divination. Please step forward. Allow me to see here. Sons, if you want to receive the messages loud and clearly for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Give us clarity. Give us insight. Allow me to see here. Sons, if you want to receive the messages. Okay. We're going to begin here. Let's see what you can expect for the month of May, Taurus. A lot, a lot of momentum when it comes to your finances, when it comes to your career. Also, we are experiencing, or we're going to be experiencing, um, actually, it just kicked off today, uh, Pluto. Pluto is going retrograde. So it's going to go retrograde in Aquarius, where it's been. Um, it's going to dip back into Capricorn for a bit. So... Uh, a lot of us closing cycles. Remember, Pluto is a generational planet. There's a lot of cycles that are closing out. Um, to, fi to finally go back into Aquarius and station there completely for the next coming 15 years. So major changes there. But Taurus, you have Venus in obviously in your sign right now. So there is a lot of momentum when it comes to your career, when it comes to your finances, when it comes to everything that is beautiful right? Blessings being bestowed upon you. All right, let's see what we can expect for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of May 2024. Here we go, Taurus. All right, we're starting off here with Pluto energy. We have the Duff card here, transformation, major transformation. Wow. A lot of you guys are going to be going through a glow up massive, massive potential here for a lot of you guys to stabilize your finances, your career, they're showing me here the death card with the sun card. Um, again, you're going or ending a cycle of transition for a lot of you guys. You are, like I said, stepping into the higher version of yourself. A lot of you guys experiencing unexpected blessings coming your way. And this is all through good karma. Karma is not necessarily a bad thing. We have, you know, polarities, positive and negative. Um, but with the sun card here, it is promising you a new outlook in life. For a lot of you guys, I do see um, structures, you know, really uh, becoming something very, very important for you guys for the next coming. I want to say for the next remainder of or the remainder of this year, the beginning of next year. Uh, there's a lot of momentum when it comes to attention, when it comes to, you know, getting rewards, getting um, appreciated, getting validation. Uh, in circumstances or situations where you felt like people were doing you wrong or people were overlooking your hard work and determination, it's finally coming, like, it's almost like they're blindfolded to how great you are is coming off. And people are seeing you in your true light. They are seeing you highly capable. Uh, for a lot of you guys, there is something that is connected to attention or fame. This could be coming in in the form of your professional and career aspect. For others of you, this could have to do a lot with relationships and partnerships. If you just felt like um, you haven't really connected with anyone on a deeper level or for others of you, if you felt like the relationship that you're currently dealing with just has been a bit challenging, um, that's quickly going to be changing because I feel whatever, whatever you're starting right now, Taurus, whatever is coming into your life right now. It's coming in disguised as an opportunity. And when I say disguised, it's because it's giving me more so the energy that things are going to start to line up in your life where you feel uh, not necessarily at first glance that it's an opportunity. But what they're telling you here is take full advantage of all this newness of energy that's coming in because there's a lot of abundance that's connected to it. Now, we do have the Seven of Swords with the Emperor card. So you've been a bit resistant in certain aspects of your life. This could be career. This could be finances. This could be with the people that you're dealing with on an everyday basis. This could be family members where there's been leniency. So for some of you guys, what's coming to mind is career. Um, if you felt stagnant or you felt like people were just not appreciating and you got to a point of 
kind of just saying, you know, I'm just going to get through this or not even trying anymore because there was this feeling of frustration. Spirit is telling you, like, now it's a time to really put, you know, put that power behind you. Um, you're the bull, you know, you, you, you don't, you don't break easy and you're able to break through barriers, right? Just <laughs> with your horns. Uh, so again, what they're telling you here is now is the time to really show people, not just people, but yourself, show yourself what you're really capable of, because there's almost been a denial here, uh, for some of you guys with the emperor cards, which could indicate almost like the feeling of doubting yourself or doubting yourself because people were not, you know, you weren't being well received for others of you. It could be that you just kind of been experiencing almost feeling unappreciated, feeling unseen, feeling, um, doubting yourself is what's coming through. So again, it's almost like with this Pluto retrograde for some of you guys, it, Pluto retrogrades is not like Mercury retrograde or other planets that go retrograde because this is a generational planet. So when Pluto does go retrograde, it's almost like we're revisiting a certain aspect in our life where we felt like our power was taken or we felt like um, we were kind of at the mercy of destiny unfolding. But when it goes retrograde, your power is coming back to you. So a lot of you guys, again, if you felt unseen, if you felt unheard in any aspect of your life, you're going to be getting that attention, that recognition, that appreciation, people showing you love, even people that maybe you haven't connected with in a while, you may hear from them. And the reason why you hear from them, it's because they're wanting to acknowledge how you treated them or how you made them feel in a certain aspect at some point in your life. And it's almost like it's almost like a full circle type of thing where you're like, I knew I was freaking great, you know, how delusional of me to believe or to make myself or like other people to make me doubt of who I am and my power. So there is an empowering energy that's coming through for a lot of you guys. Now, I also do see a lot of momentum when it comes to love and romance. You have, you know, Pluto's energy here with the death card, Scorpio energy, the sun card, being illuminated, being blessed, but also uh, a connection or relationship or some type of emotional fulfillment coming through, even for those of you guys that maybe deceived yourself or taught yourself or trained yourself to believe that maybe you weren't destined for happiness or stability. That is, it's almost like the universe is kind of giving you, like I said, this glow up that's coming through, but also it's almost a validation of what you've always known about yourself. Like you're not the type to settle. You weren't born to settle Taurus. And Finally, you're becoming empowered. You're believing in yourself. Your confidence is going to be going off the roof this month. Um, and it has a lot to do with the synchronicities that are coming in, in regards to your life, that it's almost like, you know, um, think of it as, you know, Venusian energy is all to do with blessings. It is your ruling planet. So it is bringing to you everything that you're deserving of and that you've known, but maybe at some point you kind of doubt it because of circumstances or because of cycles that continue to repeat themselves in your life. But that's no longer going to be the case, my lovely Taurus. So you have a beautiful month of May unfolding for you. I want to wish you guys all the best, and we will see each other soon. Till then, bye.